Welcome back to Shelby on Safari. Today we are going under the sea, so I hope you brought your snorkels because we are going to meet a most awkward invertebrate. This animal has such amazing adaptations and I can't wait to go through what makes them really cool. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you want to learn all about animals, whether that be in captivity, nature, or in pop culture, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make that bell go ding so you can be the first to see all the new content and hang out with my cats. Speaking of which, Marvel's hanging out with me today and she's hard at work, per usual. So grab your snorkels, guys, and let's dive right in. start with the elephant seal in the room. <coughs> the starfish isn't a fish, but it is an invertebrate, which means they don't have a backbone. There are around 1,500 different species of starfish all over the world, and they can live in hot and cold waters. In fact, there are about 32 different species here in British waters. Starfish don't actually have a brain, nor do they have blood. Instead, starfish use filtered seawater to pump nutrients throughout their nervous system. Pretty snazzy, eh? Speaking of seawater, starfish can only survive in salt water. They do not live in fresh water. And it wouldn't be a Shelby on Safari video without a pop culture reference. So today's reference comes from good old Doctor Who, because starfish can actually regenerate. While it doesn't take just one episode for them to regenerate a lost limb like it does for the doctor, it does take about a year for the starfish to regrow a lost limb. Speaking of limbs, they have usually five arms. However, some species can have more. Also known as sea stars, they are a part of the phylum Echinodermata, or echinoderms, meaning spiny skin. Other animals in this group include sand dollars and sea cucumbers. So how exactly do starfish move? Well, they have tube feet and lots of them. There are hundreds of tube feet on the bottom of starfish and these are filled with seawater. Tube feet not only help starfish move around, but help them hold on to their prey, which includes clams and mussels. But if you've ever tried eating a clam and a mussel yourself, you know that as bivalves, they clench together and are really difficult to pry open. So how does a starfish with no brain, no blood, and just tube feet open up a clam or a mussel? Well, their mouth is actually on their underside. When they catch their food, the sea star will wrap its arms around its prey and pull it open just slightly. Then something truly amazing and awkward happens. The sea star pushes its stomach through its mouth and into the bivalve's shell. Whoa. It then digests the animal and slides its stomach back into its body. So essentially, starfish eat with their stomachs inside out. Pretty crazy, right? Starfish also have one eye at the tip of each of their arms. And even though these beautiful animals can be quite colorful, they themselves cannot see in color. One fact that really surprised me was that starfish can actually live for about 35 years. That's quite a long time. The Marine Conservation Society does incredible work to raise awareness and take action on issues that are facing our seas. In particular, they are raising awareness about microfibers. Our clothes are made of millions of tiny fibers, many of which are plastic. And every time you chuck your clothes in the washing machine, microfibers shed from our clothes and can end up in the environment. The Marine Conservation Society states that one wash can release over 700,000 microfibers into wastewater, many of which then end up in our ocean. Well, why should you be concerned? Well, these microfibers can actually be ingested by fish, but also mussels. And what eats mussels? Well, we do. 
you wouldn't want to eat your shirt, would you? But also, starfish eat mussels, so they too are being affected. However, there are ways that you can help. In the description below, I'll pop a link to two of the ways that you can take action to help starfish today. The first one is that the Marine Conservation Society is raising a petition to bring to Parliament to make a law that will have all washing machine manufacturers fit a microfiber filter into each of their new machines by 2023. I encourage you, if you can, to check it out and sign the petition. The second thing that you can do to take action today to help starfish and our oceans is to check out Guppy Friend. They're not a sponsor, but they are genuinely awesome with the work that they do. They have created a bag that will catch the microfibers when you do your wash. It's incredible, but also kind of soul destroying to just see how many microfibers come out in one wash. So be sure to check them out in the description below. Thank you so much for joining Marvel and I today as we went under the sea. If you like echinoderms and awkward starfish, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what's your favorite sea animal. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.